Hi and welcome to my YouTube channel. This short video is to introduce one of my latest projects, my FM stereo encoder based on the Pyra CZ stereo encoder kit. The website for this encoder kit is shown at the bottom of the screen. This project started some years ago. One of my passions is fixing old vintage radios. To make things easier, I had to buy some good test equipments. So I bought a nice Marconi 2022E RF generator like this one. This RF generator could do nicely AM and FM modulation on all the broadcast bands. For the AM side, there were no problems so far. When, when you talk FM radio repair, you need some kind of FM stereo generation to get the radio's demodulation section works correctly. Fortunately, my new acquired Marconi had an external modulation input, so I needed some kind of FM stereo multiplexer unit that I could connect to my generator. So I started my search around the net. My quest for the very best and not too expensive kit of this kind brought me to some available solutions, like this one based on the BH1417 stereo encoder chip, or this one based on the NJM2035 chip. Both of these solutions were ok, but when I started to go further in their circuit specification, I noticed that the audio frequency spectrum for both of these chips was not quite good, and worst of it, there was lots of harmonics generated by the inside multiplexer, and their filter sections were not very sharp, neither efficient. So I browsed deeper on the net until I heard about a very nice and accurate stereo MPX FM encoder available in kit. Introducing the Pyra CZ stereo encoder for FM broadcasting. Here is a snapshot of the website description of the product. But since this website did not sell any of these boards, I had to figure out where I could buy one. Here comes eBay at the rescue. You can buy a bare PCB of this encoder for less than $18 US plus shipping handling. Here is how it looks. The only thing that is sad about this PCB is that the seller did not provide any parts kit or even a single part list. So I now had to check the original Pyro encoder website for any parts list and description of the actual circuit behavior. Fortunately, the Pyro CZ original website did provide me all the needed infos. I then ordered all the necessary parts. After testing the Pyro encoder board, I noticed that each audio input had impedance of around 2K. This was not quite handy for most of the useful audio external devices. iPhone small FM radios would be ok, but it appeared that these devices' audio levels were not quite enough loud, so I needed some high impedance interface that would bridge the external audio to the Pyro inputs raise the overall gain. I also thought that 500 Hz tones would be nice to have when testing stereo channel separations. 
The following schematic shows the front end that I added just between the external source audio signal and the Pyra original audio input. Now the project's final steps. First I started to draw the front panel layout and placed all the components that would be useful. I used Front Designer software to make the layout. This software is amazing to get things done quick. I could place five of my layout on the same page. I printed them on a self-adhesive laminated vinyl for easy application on the front metal plate. After sticking the layout on the bare metal plate, I used my bench punch press to punch all the holes. This gave this result. No drills residue. I also used a Hammond 1598D plastic enclosure to place all my project stuff. I then placed the pods, switches and RCA connectors. I then placed all the assembled PCBs with all the wirings. The final assembly looks like this. Thank you for your time and for having interest for this project. If you'd like to have a look at some of my other projects, just go to www.arkansan.com slash projects. You can also have a look at my YouTube channel's videos.